Genji, their bot lane is going to be tested. And coming into today's series, I thought that the best way to beat Genji is to attack this bot lane. And Fnatic seems to have come in with that game plan. Yeah, there is already that ghost popped by Jun. Razok's going to turn up. Not a lot of information there. The flash forward from the hands. But already, that's first blood going over to Pays. Razok just a little bit too late on it. Looking for an angle here. Yeah, the flash not quite up and available. There he is. He finds the ulti. The Valkyrie forward, and it's all too easy. Oh, there's a chance of corruption here towards the bottom side. It is going to be answered with a Fates called it already. Lahan's down incredibly low. Equalizer just thrown out to stop them from going too far forward. But Pays is the one flashing away. Harpoon going to connect. Second one going to land there as well. There's a flash forward from Noah, but not quite enough damage. And Genji will be able to make the great escape. Oh, yes. Layers Humanoid comes down. Lens trying to burn him, but it's not going to work. Seismic shot lands. It's a double kill for the Talia. And now Chovy will punish him, but he gives him the thumbs up. Right. Thumbs but a good response from Chovy as Canyon sets his eyes on top. Yeah, Keen still tanking up the turret here, so not exactly an optimal play, but Canyon's going to turn up as well. Chan oh, there's the Glacial Prison. Hextech Ultimatum does come down. He gets the shield as well as Keen oh. trying to land a Canyon was taking up the turret, but the hook shot. Start the chase now. We're back to oh, life. Lens, what are we doing there? Uh, Cyclone's going to come on through, and he is really dead. We're going to have to... This team is playing through the map, and... Oh, and dear. Oh, dear. That's a flash over the wall from Lens, and I don't even now, think he needs... Humanoid in some danger. Once again, a Valkyrie forward as the arrow is going to connect onto Chovy. They're now trying to turn it around. Canyon here, but maybe he's a bit too late. As Chovy holding onto the flash, and he decides he's not going to use it. Now, Razor with the Cyclone. Noah is just going to be jumped on by the Sejuani, but he says, thank you very much. The Dragon, they're going to be happy with that. Yeah, mid lane control does go to Genji here for now as oh, Oscar no. in and off to the side. Razov just burning down though, and there is no support. Pays is going to cleanse, finds the auto in the end. With their siege, I think that would be a scary thing for them to have. Oh, Keen's on a pretty nice flank angle here. The Equalizer's brilliant as well, and he finds two with the shove forward. Canyon's going to take down Jun to start this one off, and Humanoid is just thrown into the blender. Noah follows, and this is just a wash. Gen G. Gonna look for a steal. Yeah, they do manage to get the ward over as Hexgates are being there. taken. There's an arrow in there. He's in the pit. It goes down solo, and it's secured by the Rand. Gen G take down the monkey as well. And they'll secure themselves a Baron Oscar in, and he is going to be dessert here for Gen G. As there's nothing he can do by himself. Chovy and the Baron, these turrets are going to fall. Oh dear, Humanoid, he's going to be put into the prison, and Chovy finds the rocket. And that might just be it. As Razok with the Cyclone, able to get over there with the decoy as well. But uh, I just don't know whether it's going to be enough. The base is about to be broken open with the man advantage. Genji should be able to get more than one inhibitor. In fact, this top inhibitor turret goes down. It has much more in it than that. A single fight was all it took, and they're looking for another. Yeah, there's the all out from Keen. He might just be taken down here. A couple of turrets might be too much for him. Never mind. Oh, He's fine. Uh, just able to walk it off. Pays is the one that dies, but the Nexus is going to follow suit, and the LCK's number one seed will take game one. Yeah, I think the big thing for me is, is as we look at the gold graph, right, we were talking about how close it was, how Fnatic did find a few good But uh, yeah, Chovy's already Salt in the finals in particular, even in their losses, was incredibly impactful. Uh, specifically, though, Canyon on the Kha'Zix, for those that didn't get to watch the OCK finals, he brought it out specifically against the Xin Zhao. It's just perfectly set up. He dies on top of Humanoid. That's the first blood going over to Canyon in a solo kill. He's evolving! And uh, did he actually just evolve? Was that just a full ambition yes, that he's he killed off here? This he's uh, spinning axe is doing a lot of work. Stand aside. Going to connect there as Jun's knocked up into the sky. A few of these axes landing, but no offering a fair bit of damage back. But now, Canyon makes his way in. Oh my god! Pace just executes him with the ultimate! Time as far as the laning phase, but I think that Oscar's gonna have a tough time as Lahens. Ah, uh, that's a dangerous time. Evan and Flo gonna come oh, down. No! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> just gives them enough information to keep track. Ooh, oh, there's a flash onto Trovi. He is immediately gonna flash away though, and then just flies. Has to do that in a straight line though, as now Razo's on top of him. Dangerous time here for the Dragon, and he's taking... They can cover. Oh no, the TP interrupted. Oh dear, there's the all out. That's a big ride for Humanoid. Now trying to get himself out of there. He flashes before the tidal wave gets there, but Keen, he's going all out, and he's going to be able to take out Humanoid. They'll grab Raz Razork as well. Oh, no. This is all. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, bashing in. Oh, Canyon going to get spotted here as Humanoid comes from beneath him. And now this bug going to have to run away. Does use the ultimate, now has to flash. Does get back to Lahenzu, does have some heals, but there is the flick back. And if he finds his keeper's verdict, 
It could be absolutely massive. Now the Puppy Copter is spinning. Keen taking so much damage though. Chovy finds the ultimate. They throw away the Draven. That's a lot of damage missing, but Keen finds the pushback. It's just not gonna quite be enough. He's so tanky. And in comes Paze now with these axes and with the Draven turning up. I think it's now gonna level turn. of the patience that they play. Well, we're straight into another team fight here as it's a great bubble on to and Oscar. It. And Noah manages to take down Canyon here. Genji now a man down. Can they still keep fighting? No, is the question what? Fnatic want here in this moment. Keen now dashing forward. Pace has to get himself out though. Throwing a few of these axes around. He does still have that ulti as the all out does come on through. Razzlok uses it to try and get on top of Lehens, but he doesn't TP. quite get there. He's now able to get out and now the teleport's coming forward from Fnatic. The exhaust to make sure the flash that damage is mitigated and Chun takes down the dragon. Now Fnatic. Noah actually having. Oh. Again? Yeah, jumped on immediately, is going to be able to go stealth and look to get himself out, but Razok's just going to be able to lock him down. Thanks to the Canyon, but they did have to commit the Shockwave and the Flash from Razok. Keen, a wall that stands in the way. Yeah, continuing just to walk towards them. My god, the damage as the skies descend onto Fnatic here. Keen just wandering forward. He'll find the Q onto Razok, and now Chovy is flying down. No is going to be executed, but Chovy will suffer the same fate. Paze is just popping off though, throwing these axes left, right and center, and no one is answering the Draven. There are too many threats for them to deal with. And the man got a finals MVP no. because yeah, at least five people. So three good, five not good. Yeah, not All good. Right. Okay. Um, that is a large ultimate here from Chovy, but Oscar what? once again makes his way back in. Canyon should just be squashed, but he's able to leap his way out, and the culling! Humanoid will find a shockwave, as Keen is going to W through it. Now, this is the 1v3 that we were talking about. Can Razok actually get in here, make it a 1v4, because Noah is in so much trouble. He gets queued back, and there's the fourth man to make sure Keen can't get it done. Finding more and more of these Ws from Canyon, and now the fight has broken out. Keen finds three as he dives forward, absorbs and exhaust as well. This time, Jun's able to get himself out though, and it's one. So if Fnatic actually. Oh, Canyon, are you dead again? He, ma he might just be. He's gonna have to flash away. But there's the dive He's forward. Dead. Humanoid's gonna grab it once again. Can they actually get a kill back though as they keep them down? Yeah, Joby. Joby does manage to find it here as the skies descend onto Fnatic. The knockups were massive, but it's gonna connect onto Keen here as well. The two man Q is going to connect also as now Razzle diving on forward, being an absolute hero. Canyon this time, he is a big threat, and Fnatic's health bars are so incredibly low. It's a double for the Dragon, and I think Genji. It's been a couple of fights for Fnatic, but this time Genji have found one themselves. Oh, Oscar trying to stay alive for as long as possible because the mid lane highway is open. The minions in the previous play did uh, take it as do like not step up to me with the teleport. <laughs> I don't know if they have the wave. All right, Canyon looking for an opportunity here. And uh, yeah, uh, Noah's just going to kill him. Still down. Turning. And as you already said, that's huge. Lahens is gone as well. Yeah, Whirling Death is there, but Pays. So hard for him to walk up. Is this Drake getting taken down so incredibly low? There's the Keeper's Verdict. That's going to get rid of the Dragon. And that is a third Cloud Drake here for Fnatic. Whirling Death not finding any value here. And now the dash forward from Razor. Keen finds three as well on his side of the fight. And he's going to take another 1v5. Trophy has to go golden to avoid the Shockwave. The Cassante taken down once again, but Humanoid is going to follow suit. And they're in the Thunderdome, gentlemen. And this Dragon is just breathing hell down on top of them. Canyon off to the side, waiting for his moment. And breathing, breathing, breathing goes the Dragon. They'll take their chances with the bug, but the Draven is too scary. Definitely go toe to toe with Gen G. The inevitability of this big old celestial dragon in the mid lane, certainly a problem as Genji will finish off the Nexus with an ulti. Too tardy in terms of specifically, I, I want to say, patience. That for me is absolutely the name of the game for Fnatic, and it has been. And we also know, like we already knew, and I think that Genji also already knew that the lane swap was coming, but Fnatic do have a very powerful bottom lane. So I don't necessarily, like it looked at the beginning of the draft, like it's Gen G that had the pressure on them right. to swap. And That's why this Scion is so incredibly powerful as he does charge up the Q. That is going to be the go button. And there is first blood going over to Paze. Fnatic, where the Scion just kept getting dived. It was Fnatic diving the Scion. Oscar's very familiar with this. Yeah. Level two now, but he's still so incredibly squishy. The flash oh. has to come out here from Canyon. Oh. This oh. jungle is not oh. the greatest.
stay out of the way, avoid death, even though we saw that burst damage was absolutely massive. There's a flash from Jun, though, immediate cleanse no from Pace, on Pace just to stop that uh, swarm no from bubble. coming on through. And yeah, the bubble is now down, and Pace should be taken out. Shut that down. is the shutdown onto Noah and Fnatic. This looks like yes, a dive advantage. to me, boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Four versus two here, but Noah taking too much, and he will be taking out Pays. Answered as well, but a one for one is not what Fnatic were looking for. Still, Lahen should be taken out here, and it's a double kill for Humanoid. Covering around bot. That's a flash onto Noah. The tidal wave to layer the CC, and Lahen's bubbles him to death. Oh, the confidence from Kenyon there knows that Noah doesn't have his flash because of the earlier mishaps. Chobi, oh, take your dra dragon for a walk, and Chobi's gonna be wiped out. Razok's the one that picks up the kill, and. Now Pays in a bit of trouble himself, although it is just Jun. And now looking for a little Culling. bit more. The calling is going to come on through, and even with the barrier. Lens accidentally takes it. Oh, Humanoid doesn't have his flash. Yeah, Kane coming down once again. The Contempt coming on through as now Humanoid trying to run his way out. It does try to be a little bit tricky, but they found the right one, and that is going to be the kill going over to the vein. The full grubs. I don't know if that Arrow. alone is enough as... Arrow. And he's just going to hit him. He just walked into it. There are still minions here available, though, and he just dashes out of the way. Great ulti from Oscar, though, and Humanoid gets in there, takes down the Lucian. And that is a killing spree now for Humanoid, or at least close to as Lahens has to tidal wave, and he's now looking to try and speed himself up with the Tycholer's Blessing. No flash available, though, now. And yeah, it's good. Razog just trying to stop Canyon from getting down here, but Keen, he wants it. Oscar might be able to get out, but uh, Razog going to have to die for his sins. As it turns out, that's going to be able to TP back into the fight. Unfortunately for him, it wasn't oh. enough hands. Oh my god, okay, he just pops like a balloon. That is Chains of Corruption, but a great Captain Jack here from Pays as he does manage to get out of the way of the piercing arrows. Well, the flash forward from Humanoid, oh, no. not quite able to get the kill yet. He misses oh. the chain, and they go one for one. I oh, love and now the skies are descending onto Noah once more. He'll be taken out also, and now it's Joby just flying towards Jun, who is going to be so really good game plan against Lahens. Yeah, and uh, that is a great interruption, but the ulti comes down. Chovy doesn't even look at the explosions, but now Humanoid finds the back line once again. The chains will connect, and he will grab the execution, but he's going to have to sacrifice himself forward. And now Chovy going to get knocked up on the back end. I thought maybe it would be his moment, but now Keen making his way in. The Condemn into the wall. The Zinzao's dead, and I think Keen may just be able to wipe the rest of this one. Double 80 carries chasing off. A silly as we see Humanoid may be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, continuing to get silly, but Razog is going to be here. Humanoid just going to turn it, and they just wipe out Kane. Still, Canyon's pretty dangerous, but now it's Oscar turning up. And this is one versus three. I don't think that you're going to take that one, Canyon. The chain, he just takes bristle. They look like they're having fun. Like, can we do that too? Like, are we allowed to do that? Well, I guess the answer is yes. Is Kane going to take down Humanoid? This guy's descend on a Razog, and he is just in a blender. The double bubble was almost there, but the flashes going to come through here from both of the archers on the side of Fnatic. The farm just hasn't been there for him. Oh dear. Oscar. Uh, Oscar, well, he's very, very tanky. Good sidestep on the bubble there as well. TP. And now he's just looking for the opportunity. Lahan's going to spend some time in the sky. He doesn't have TP, remember. This could be a good fight opportunity for Fnatic. Yeah, they're all just taking the hex gates over. All four of them. Oscar on the bottom side of this fight, but now he's 1v1 against Pays. Dashes his way out. Good tidal wave on to the bubble. Going to connect as well, but where's the follow up? It's the dragon. Four versus five. Yeah, and uh, Humanoid's clone going to come on through. They're taking more base gates. Keen doesn't care. He's taking down a I get it, but one more wave as oh arrow going to connect. Um, and Humanoid able to catch up. The vein should just explode. Just another spell is necessary here. As the ghost, the tumble. And he's looking to get himself out. There's the teleport coming in. And Keen's now turning around. Chovy is just flying after Humanoid. And I think they've saved for the Herald, and then really does is. not want to do that. The ulti comes down once again from Chovy. Knocks up two, but Razov now going to try and go for the counter engage. Humanoid gets in amongst it as well, as Keen is his target. And he can understand why. The culling just softens up everyone, though. And now Fnatic oh. has to get out. That burst damage, just absurd. And the flash forward from Baze. He does not want to be executed, and he will not, because Humanoid is now dead. Noah suffering the same. Oh. Keen just doing some vain things here. In the middle of the team fight, and Noah 
<laughs> Somehow Noah has a bounty. All right, well, there's another ulti to connect. And there and it Noah goes. is very dead. That bounty that you were talking about immediately collected. So glad you spotted it, Freddy. Otherwise, you might not have known. And now Trovi once again breathing, but Humanoid wants to stop that. He's gonna have to get out of there though. Good Crescent Guard from Razork to keep his distance from Gen G. Gee. But they are still bearing down on them. And now Keen's running amok. Once again, he gets into position, but the chain is fantastic. They've got too many threats though, and it's now Pays that dives on. Manages to kill both of the solo laners. And I think that should be Baron here for Gen G. I mean, the fact that Pays has stepped up so much in comparison to his previous domestic performances. But now, speaking of stepping up, that is not what you want to be doing as Oscar in, and he is going to be taken out here by Chovy. Another kill under his belt, and the skies descend onto Fnatic once again. Razog, as Kane is just getting things done, that should be the execution, and Humanoid's able to take down Canyon, but he's sacrificing himself for it. The one for one. They might be okay with it. I guess no, he's going to take something, but I think, pushing. yeah, Kane is just taking names and turrets all across this map. He just presses up on Nico as they're looking to move further forward in the upper bracket here at MSI. The LCK first seed proving they look like exactly that. A dominant game three from Genji as they cement themselves as one of the favorites for MSI. Much more of the traditional Genji style where they slow down the game. Not much slowing down. I don't know how many deaths. A lot of the things that Top do really well are not necessarily always apparent. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes they don't get get enough credit. <laughs>